Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at working with cases within Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. The cases area is where you can log and track any form of customer issue, query or question. Cases can be related to contracts and knowledge base articles can be assigned to them to aid resolution. You can also schedule activities against the case in order to better facilitate research. Before working with cases, it would be a good idea to define subjects and knowledge base articles and consider the use of contracts, all of which are covered in other C-Logic videos. Let's suppose we get a call off a customer at Zircon Incorporated, and we want to log it. We can either start from the Zircon account record or simply go to Cases under the service area where we are now and then click the New button. The bare minimum you need is a title and a linked customer. However, by using the subject, we can go down to Notes and Articles and see if there are any knowledge base articles linked to the subject I have chosen. We can then display the article and possibly provide an immediate solution. Notice that I am using Form Assistant on the right hand side, but the field lookups can also be used. Other fields within the case record can also be filled in as required, such as the case type and the case origin. From the contract and product information area, you can also check if a valid contract and contract line exists, and also view that contract if, if required by clicking on the hyperlink. Again, notice that I'm using the form assistant on the right hand side and this provides all the associated records tied to the original contract record. The Notes field is where you may add detail about the issue or query. Once everything has been filled in, check over your record and then save it. And notice that the status of the case is now active as shown at the foot of the record. Clicking on the Add ribbon allows you to schedule activities so you can manage the resolution of the case and this can also be done from the Activities area of the case on the left hand side navigation bar. I'll just go back to the general area and save and close the case and we'll note a few things. Firstly, I can see my case in my active case list. This way I know which cases I am working on. If I go to the contract area, I can also see the associated contract and by clicking into the contract I can see the case associated with it. Importantly, if I go back to look at my account record for Zircon, I can see everything associated with the company, such as the contract and the cases. Let's go back into the case by clicking on it. I can also assign a different owner by using the Assign button, or I can queue the case. Imagine queues are like containers, and if this is added to another user's queue, the owner can remain the same, but somebody else may work on it. Queues are then found in the workplace area and are particularly useful for teams. Several people might belong to a queue, and they can then grab and work on cases, as it were, as they get entered by somebody else. 
So in this case, I place this case in the queue for customer service team. As I'm a member of the customer service team, I can then be available to work on this case and then grab the case by highlighting it and clicking the work on button. I assign the case to me and then change my view and show the cases that I'm now working on. If required I can cancel the case which changes the status but does not delete it and when ready I can resolve the case. Simply click on the resolve case button and fill in all the information. Upon clicking OK, this changes the status to resolved and puts the resolution in as a closed activity against the case. Going back to my original master case list, I can now change my list view and see my case under resolved cases. Well that's it, an overview of working with cases in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Remember to always read the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks very much for watching this C-Logic video.